Hey guys, good morning. I'll just wait for a little more of you to come on before I begin. But I wanted to do a makeup look for the Christmas for you. So I'm just waiting for a few more of you to come on before I begin. But tell me how you guys is Christmas is going so far. It's Christmas Eve. Tell me how your Christmas is going so far. Okay, so we're going to begin. I'm going to start by doing my eyebrows. If you see me looking this way, it's because my camera is, well, my laptop is this way. I just want to see what's going on. All right, I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows. I'm using the Hanzan pencil. I got it from Amazon. I'm just really outlining my brows. I'm just using it to outline my brows. Before, brows used to be so hard. I still find it challenging, but before it was, it used to be so hard for me to get my eyebrows to look right. 
still challenging, but it's way better. So to fill it in now, I'm going to use my NYX brow gel. And I'm going to fill it in. I'm going to take my brush into it and fill it in. I'm going to finish my ears first. Make sure they're the way I want them to be. brush and dip it into this and then I'm gonna fill it in and the I have to me the brow gel the brow gel gives a more natural look than the pencil in my opinion. Gives a more natural look than the pencil does. Barely tell I did anything to my brow. It's not dark enough for you. Like this one is a little light. You can just go over it with a little bit of pencil just to darken it up. I don't really worry about the mistakes or how it looks right now. Because then I'm going to kill it as I've got my concealer. But yeah, that's basically it. But bro, I'm going to do this one. And this is my first time going live. Like, I've never gone live before. I was a little nervous about it. But then I was just like, you know what? Just go ahead. It's not going to kill you. You have to overcome your fears, right? You have to overcome your fears. So go ahead. <laughs> It's not that bad. So brows, almost there, okay, almost there. My brows doesn't never be twins. They can never be twins. They're always sisters or cousins. They're always twins. 
you wondering why I'm looking dumb, my makeup box is on my stool. I have a big makeup box. I'm no I'm nobody's makeup artist, yeah. <laughs> but I have a huge makeup box. Huge. Very big. So for the top of my brows, I'm gonna use the shade that I use for my foundation that is close to my skin tone. And this is the 340. 340 by I Fit Me. That's my shade. It's the closest to my skin tone that I've seen. Maybe I even find I get a little lighter now. I find I got a little lighter. So it's a little darker than me. I have to go shopping for a new a new um foundation. Because it's winter time up here now. So I'm just going to put it above the brow. Like that. Look at that. Woo. That's pretty. I like to use the cover. <laughs> I don't always dip into the real thing. <laughs> I use the cover. Just me. It saves their foundation. Doesn't finish quick. We're all about saving money on this channel. All about it. I wish I could get chat on this live. I'm not too sure. Like I said, uh, it's my first time. <laughs> so I'm not too sure how to enable the live so you guys can speak to me. But hopefully, when I master live, we can have a chat. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use my Wet and Wild foundation stick for the bottom of my brows. This one is a little lighter than my skin tone. So I just use it. I use it usually for a, mm -hmm. a highlight. Who is messaging me on my live? These people have no respect, no audio? None at all. These are my friends from Dominica, guys. Those of you guys who don't know, I am from the Caribbean. A little island called Dominica. Not the Dominican Republic, but the Commonwealth of Dominica. Kind of looks like a, a person with a genie bottom. A genie's bottom. Yeah. Tell tell me you can you can't tell me nothing. Look at that. Look at that. You can't tell me nothing. Can't tell me nothing. <laughs> and before this was so hard for me to do, you guys. It was so hard for me to do my brows. There used to be all kind of ways. But the more you practice, the better you get at it, I guess. Um, as I don't wear makeup every day, but I do practice a lot because I like beauty and I want to be in the beauty industry. I like. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my cousin. <laughs> I 
I do want to be in the beauty industry, whether it be makeup or hair. I like both. I well, I used to sew, but I I learned through YouTube. I learned through YouTube, so I wasn't one hundred. But I have been going to sewing classes, and I do want to introduce that to my YouTube as well. I just finished the intermediate class for sewing, um, and I'm getting my certificate real soon. So I do want to start introducing um, sewing to my YouTube as well. Stuff. When I was back home, I had my sewing machine. I had a lot of free time. I'd work by here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. They, they have bad manners. They have bad manners. They have bad manners, guys. I finally did something with my hair. I finally did something with my hair. If you didn't know, I did a big chop recently where I cut my hair. Because my edges were fading due to the wigs and all of that glue. I used to do the bald cap method. But... It was really damaging my edges. So I had to cut everything flat and have it start from scratch again. You can see there is catching up a little bit faster. Like I could even do styles with it. I can even do styles with it now. And this side is still growing out. But the bald cap method for the wig. Yo. <laughs> uh -uh. Like I learned now, no ball cap method is the best method for me. I don't know about you, but no ball cap method is the best method for me. So anytime I put in my wigs on, I'm not going to have a ball cap. What I use is a thin, thin spray. So like if anything you know, it's not right. I just spray it up and it looks like it's melted. It looks like my skin, so. What do you think about my eyebrows? Ah, oh, nothing. Period. Period. Okay, so now my eyebrows are done. I'm going to prime my face. So I'm using a face primer. It's very hydrating. It's the Mil it's Milani face primer. This is what it looks like. Okay. I'm gonna put it on to set my foundation. This is how it looks white. It's white. Look at my skin though. Guys, I have to do a sponsored video because I just got this amazing product. It's Purity, mm -hmm. I believe that's the name. And I haven't done a video for it as yet. It's supposed to be a scar remover. And I have a lot of scars from pimples, as you can see. So I want to do, it is a sponsored video. So I want to try it out first. I've been doing it. I've been trying it for the past I got it like yes yesterday or day before yesterday. So I've been trying it out to see. It is it like it is very high, um moisturizing. I will say that. 
I will say that. Yesterday I was at work. I put it on in the morning. I get up for work like 8.30, 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock and I start work at 8.30. So I put it on in the morning when I get up at 8. And I finish work at 5. And you know my face was still moisturized when I hit that bathroom. I was still moisturized. I was like, okay. Look at you. Look at Purity. I was pleasantly surprised. I want to try it out for at least two weeks to see if my blemishes, like as you, like when I was young, I had an accident where a bus hit me and I still have some of the marks. Like all of this used to be dark. Oh, but my mother <laughs> used to rub me with cocoa butter every every day but some of the marks still stay so i really want to try using it anna to remove those um scars from pimples my hair i want to see what it does so i want to try it for like a good two weeks before i do the video so i can give you guys the real on the product because i don't want to i don't want to just get it and come and just say we use this product no I'm about the truth. I'm going to tell you the real about the product. And it's not expensive at all. It's not. When they reached out to me, it was like, I checked out the price on Amazon. It was like $14, $15, US dollars. So it's not that expensive. Now that my face is primed up, I have a primer for my my eyes as well just a base because I like to do my my eyeshadow before I do my foundation because of fallout so this is the man I can't even understand the language you I don't know the name I cannot pronounce it now. It's sound in Chinese. <laughs> I think I got it from the dollar store, but this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like. Just put a little bit at the top there of your eyelids. It'll be good. But today, I was thinking about doing a green look for you guys. It was like the Christmas holiday. At first, I was going to do pink. But I was like, it's Christmas. So, let's do it. And I don't really have red. I've been planning on getting a red palette. But I don't, I don't have red. I have pink. I have yellows. I have blues. I have greens. I have purples. I like orange, guys. You can see it finishing. This is the palette that I will be using today because of the abundance of green. I have some palettes from Juvia's Place, but I haven't purchased the green one as yet. I have yellows and browns, and I think I have the blush palette. And I want to be using the greens. I want to be doing like a green and gold for you. I did swatch the colors. Swatch them. Let me swatch them for you guys. So I'm going to swatch this one. Well, it's very pigmented. 
very pigmented, especially if you have, um, what's his name, base, like a P. Louise base or something. It will be super pigmented. Mm -hmm. Why they have bad manners like that? <laughs> they really do have bad manners. I know everybody wants to comment, but I don't know how to turn on the light chat for YouTube. Like I said, it's my first time doing live, so I am not really sure how to turn it on. <laughs> if you know, then I guess you can message me um, and you let me know. But on my next live, I guess I'll have to do it. But yeah, so I'm going in with the color I just swatched because it's the darkest green that I have here. Look how dark it is. It's very dark. I get a lot of fallout, yeah? I get a lot of fallout. It doesn't have to be perfect. Like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. I just started because I do want to be in the beauty industry. So we're going to do the other side now. Guys, I see my views are going up. <laughs> my subscribers are not. If you are looking and you haven't subscribed as yet, don't forget to subscribe. I'm, I'm still at two, 250 something. I feel, but my videos are getting like 1,000 views and more. So you guys are, are liking and viewing my videos, in and viewing my videos, but you put in the work. You don't want to subscribe. You need to subscribe so you can see anytime I post a video. I didn't call American today, no? Usually in my videos, I have my accent on because the majority of the viewers are American. But today, I wasn't having it. <laughs> First of all, I just got up. I only had, a, I had an intro for breakfast. I really like this one. This one is the butter pecan. It's so good. I love it. And that's it. I'm, I'm trying to lose it. Apparently, America has me fat. <laughs> so I'm really trying to lose it. So I'm going to drink that for breakfast and I won't eat anything until maybe like free
and mo majority of the products that I am using, guys, maybe with the exception of my eyeshadow base, is Amazon. Amazon sells a really good product. I mean, some of them, they have defaults. But Amazon sells really good products. Keep I'm not a person that will shop just like that. I will put clearance. <laughs> I am a clearance shopper. I, like I said, it's all about saving money on this channel. So I'm a clearance shopper. If it's not clearance, I, you re I really, really have to need it for me to buy it. So majority of the things there, I got it for like $1, $3. The most, the most maybe is um, $10. The most so even even not clearance i don't really want it i will watch it sideways I, I really 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 have to need it for me to for me to buy it outside of clearance my friends are asking me if the live chat is not working guys i don't know how to turn it on No, I don't have corona. I just got up. I watched my face. And the fan is spinning. Usually when the fan is spinning, it affects me. I'm not used to the cold as yet. I didn't want to go live on Instagram or on Facebook because it's my first time. And I don't know, I wasn't ready for the pressure of a lot of people, you know, commenting and and doing all of that. So I feel like YouTube, yes, it still has a lot of people, but in my opinion, it takes time <laughs> for them to watch. So when I get when I feel a little better about the life, and maybe after two free lives on YouTube, I can try Instagram. I see a lot of professional, well, people that have been at this game for a while now on, on YouTube. Not on YouTube, on Instagram and Facebook. It's in their face, but your girl does that, so I don't want to embarrass myself on there. <laughs> Okay, so guys, I am going to go into my dubious place because I kind of want to darken that a little bit more. Darken up that green just a little bit more. So I'm going to use the Nomad palette. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be using it. I'm going to put it on there just to darken it up just a little bit more I don't want to use black because black might be a little too harsh black might be a little too harsh but you see how it darken it up a little bit for me I just really want to use it in the end I contemplate if I want to do a quad crease today. Because a quad crease is a lot of work. I know it doesn't seem like a lot of work. But a quad crease is a lot of work. I have to practice a lot to get just like my eyebrows. Just like my eyebrows. Like I have to practice a lot to get my eyebrows to what it is today. And it's still not perfect. It's still not all that. Mm -hmm. If you're like me, you will have a lot of fallout. Don't worry about that. I 
I'm trying. I'm trying. Let me shout out some of my friends. Joy. Mm -hmm. Matilda. <laughs> Clarissa. All my girls from Claire Harbour them. Claire Harbour is where I used to work, guys, when I was back in Dominica. Stella, Harry, my Cleopa friends. Look at that. Look at how smoky that is. Look at how smoky that is. We're going to have to do this side. Very smoky. Super smoky. Trying to blend them together. And with makeup, really, I was just wing it. Like, I was really just wing it. And see what works with me, what I do working with me. I really forced it. Like, it took several attempts <laughs> on my first makeup video that I never posted. It took several attempts. I was like, no, <laughs> I'm not doing that today. No, no, no. Okay, so I decided I'm going to cut the crease. But look at how it looks. If you have any mistakes, you can use, oh, you could use tape, like right there. Right there, you can use tape. And it's help with, you know, the shape and everything. But I was just use my foundation, like, and a makeup wipe. Like, after, when I clean it up, I just use a makeup wipe. And it is what it is. I'm going to take that same brush that I use for my phone, for my um, foundation, for my eyebrows. Right, and I'm going to be using my base to cut my crease. And also, I did get so oh, I was looking at the price of that P. Louise on P. Louise because that is what I wanted. Like that is what I really, really wanted. But I wasn't ready to pay pounds for that. <laughs> I was not having it. So I went to Amazon on my clearance, and I looked for eyeshadow primer. And I got this. It's pretty much the same thing. Beauty on a damn budget. Let me tell you. Beauty on a budget. I did not pay $2 for this. I'm telling you. I, I don't think I paid $2 for this. For this. And this is enough. This is enough. Mm. 
Right, so you just dip that in there. That. And you want to do it slowly yeah, because if you go too fast, you might mess it up. I like to outline it with my brush. So this, like this. And I have hooded eyes, so I have to do my own like a little higher than the regular person. Or else you wouldn't be able to see it on me. And even though I had hooded eyes, I didn't know what was with his eyes before until my sister told me, yeah, look, on top of your eyes fat. <laughs> oh, this girl, on top of your eyes fat. So you just want to fill that in now. Boom, they have it. But Chris none. You can add more or less. You can stop here, but I kinda like my thing to look flawless, I would say. So I want to keep parting it just to make sure, you know, I don't have no lumps or nothing. <laughs> And don't worry, like if you if you get underneath like me, like see there, don't worry about it. You can take like a makeup wipe and clean it up after. That's okay. You just want to make sure that that circle right there is on point. <laughs> Period. Period. Hey guys, so my face kind of finish. I'm gonna put a little bit more, and a little goes a long way. A little bit goes a long way. Y'all are not seeing. Sorry, guys. I guess I have limited space on my dresser. <laughs> I have a really, as you can see, like I use my room for YouTube. And I have my sister and my cousin in there. Well, today they're not here. So that's why I took the opportunity to go live. But in my videos, I guess you can see them. I haven't really gotten a room for YouTube as yet. And you know, when I get my room for YouTube, yo, oh, you can't stop me. That background is going to be so fluffy. I, 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 let me get a room. Let me get a room for YouTube. And it's over with. It's over with. I have a plan, but don't let anybody stop you. Like if you if you want to start YouTube, don't let anybody stop you. Like look at me. I don't really have space for it. But I'm here doing it. Eventually, you will get better at it. So if you think you can do it, if you want to do it, it takes a lot of work, yeah? I really thought YouTube was a, you know, just a fast thing, just occupy my time. <laughs> I was wrong. It takes a lot of work. I will say that. Especially if you invest in, in it, it's a lot of work. Especially editing, doing sometimes I just feel so lazy, but 
a lot of work, but it's worth it. Like you can get monetized, and that is my ultimate goal. I want to get monetized. Okay. So now you have to cut crease. Right? I'm gonna take that brush. I'm gonna go back into that dark palette. The dark green. I'm gonna go into that dark green, that green palette. This one right here. I'm gonna buff out the ends. I'm going to do the same thing for this side. And then we're going to add our brown. And I want to put a different color in the middle. What are you guys doing for Christmas now? Right now, if I was in Dominica, I'd be sipping on that sorrel. That's sorrel juice. Talking about sorrel, I need to make some sorrel juice. My cousin is so American. He he doesn't know sorrel juice. So I'm gonna make him some sorrel juice. A little like clove and ginger inside that. You're mad. You're mad. A little like clove and ginger. I don't know about that. I don't know nothing about that. So I'm gonna go back into my Juvia's palette plate. No, that's that's the wrong palette. Yeah, that's the wrong palette. <laughs> this one. This one. And I'm gonna put my brown back on my green. This brown. Back on top that green. Really want it smoky. Period. Period. Okay. So now I'm going to go with like a lighter shade here. I just shade of green. So I'm going to shade of green there. I'm just testing to see. I approve of that shade or not. I think I'm gonna go in with this. I think I'm gonna go in with this shade right here. Be careful. I 
Because you don't really want to mess up your cut crease. And go above. So you have to be careful. And I like to blend the two. So it looks kind of seamless. Like that. To add a little bit more because I don't find that color showing as it's not popping. It should, but yeah, call me poison ivy. It's pretty though. All right, now we're gonna do the same thing for this side. I wish I had a little music in the background, but I don't wanna get copyrighted. I realized that on a few of my videos, I didn't get copyrighted. And I was like, I was really wondering, like, I was looking for my YouTube video. I was really wondering, but what? I realized maybe the music I was using. So I have to introduce maybe some, like, instrumentals or something in my videos because... I'm getting copyrighted, so, and I really do want to get monetized, and that is one of the requirements, no copyright, so I have to get it together. All right, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Great. No, you know, I extra, you know, you go extra. I'm not really 100% with that um, wing thing. I'm still practicing. So I'm not even going to try it today <laughs> on this live. I feel like I need a little more practice to do the, the wing. But I'm going to try mining. So I'm going to introduce a little glitter. Just at the top of my cut case, a little gold, and again, I got this from Amazon less than $20, maybe less than $10. I can try inserting, like, when this live goes on my YouTube, I can try inserting some, some of the links in the description box where I purchased everything. Everything can come from Amazon. Like I said, like, is this? I, I know I got it from the dollar store. But, yeah. Guys. <laughs> we got that. We got that. But then it's hard. It's hard to do. It's really hard to do. And the way my camera set up, I don't know if you guys can see it. I have a mirror here, so I'm looking in the mirror really close. I don't want to mess it up. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not a makeup artist. I'm not a professional. Look at how it looks. It added a little mm, to it.
Now we have to struggle to the other side. As I was struggling for this side, I have to struggle to the other side. And I'm not scared. It is pretty though. It's really pretty. I'm all right on the this side is coming up way better than this side. Like I was struggling to do this side, this side not that much. I'm not struggling as much. I like glitter. I love using glitter. Sometimes though it can be a little too overpowering for the look. And then I just, just feel like mm -mm. a lot of trial and error with me. A lot of trial and error with me. I really was going to do pink today. You know, I was going to do this pink look. Kind of the same cake, the same look. Just simple. You know, white and pink. Maybe a little silver. I was going to try liner. But I find I have to be a little bit more experienced in that liner story because you, in my, I have wooded eyes. So, like, when I do the liner at the bottom, it's like it's taking up my whole eyelid. Like, if I don't close my eyes, you will not see the makeup look. So, I have to watch a little bit more YouTube videos on how to do liner with my with hooded eyes so how to do it like smaller so you'll be able, you'll still be able to see the the finished product without me closing my eyes like right now if i close if i open my eyes you're still seeing everything but if i put liner it's like taking half my eye my eyelid okay guys so now we're gonna put our lashes on and go. I have a set of lashes. I like long, fluffy lashes. That is my thing. I love lashes. I have a lot of lashes, but these I got them from Amazon. You can still see the thing on it. I think they got me this for my birthday, or did I buy that myself? I'm not sure if I, I bought it myself. Or if they got me this on my birthday. But I will if I bought it from I think it's Amazon. And I will leave the link in the description box below when the live comes to my thing. But it is you get a whole look. I use all of I use up all of those. I threw them away recently. I like reusing my lashes. So lashes does last me a long while. My last video I did. I use these and look, I still have them. I'm about to use them now. Lashes does last me a really, 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 really long time. I don't have any lash glue. I used to have a, a bomb lash glue. It was just right and it was drying on clear, so boom but you know i come from dominica and dominicans don't really use lash glue that's like a waste of money we use the regular weave glue and we stick it on the only thing is you have to be careful with weave glue because it dries black so you have to be careful i have a lash glue there but it's not it's not the best for lashes. It's very watery. It dries clear. But the last time I used it for my lashes, it didn't really stick. My lashes, I found like my lashes lifting up. And I don't want to be embarrassed in the streets. You understand me? 
I don't want to be embarrassed in the streets. So you're going to put your hair glue on the tip of your brush on the end. And you want to, I cut the tips of my lashes because I figure it was too long. And when it, it has tips like that, like the long ends, it doesn't really stick. Like where it going to stick to my nose? So I cut it off and it looks better. So now we're going to stick it on. And it's even going with my shirt here today. Today I decided I wasn't putting no wig because it's not the weekend. It's just the like days of Christmas. You know, really, I'm not really going nowhere. I'm not going anywhere. So, you know, I just decided, okay, my hair is getting longer. I need to start practicing on natural hair because if you didn't know before I had relaxed hair and how I really got my hair to grow was braiding and weaving. Braid weave, like braid weave, like braid weave. So my hair was getting long, but when I first got to America, I started the wig process and I guess I wasn't installing them. Correctly, I was installing it correctly, but that bulk method it just there are certain things that go with you, and there are certain things that don't. And that bulk method was not my friend, and I learned that the hard way. So I had to cut my progress and start fresh again. I had to cut my progress and start all the way fresh again. And I'm going as close to the lid as possible. Go as close to the lid as possible when you're sticking your lashes on. Because you don't want your lashes right up there. Because you'll be able to see it underneath, right? So you go as close to the lid as possible. And boom, guys. Boom. Let me make sure I glanced it. Remember, I told you when you put in when you put in your lashes on, especially if you're using wig glue, be careful because wig glue, weave glue, sorry, dries on black, so a little bit goes a long way. Okay, so we're gonna clean up now. I I don't really use makeup wipes to clean up. I use my foundation, but I wanted to add a little gold. Yeah, just there in the corner of my eyes, just to see. Guys, I wish I could show all you, but my makeup box is so heavy. I have a huge huge makeup box huge makeup box let me show you guys it's actually my cousin's but she gave it to me I don't know where she got it but it's it looks like a lip gloss but it's not it's like a gold pigment and you can use it as eyeshadow, it's like a liquid shadow. It's called, I don't know if you can see the right thing, but it's called Glow Glitter, Shine Like a Diamond. I don't know where she bought it from. I really don't know where she bought it from. Uh, 
And you want to do the same thing to this side. Okay, boom. Now your makeup, your eye look, my eye look is done. I want to focus on skin. Remember, I primed my face already. I've already primed my face. So that primer got to set in everything. Okay. I primed my face with this earlier on. So now I can go in with my foundation. I have two foundations, guys. I use this sometimes, or I have a wet and wild stick that I use as well. That's it now. I believe so. I think this is in the shader. It's a color perfect foundation stick. This is it. This is it. This is my shade. Six eight two one. It's a brownie. This is my shade. These two I use for my. So some days I feel like using this. Some days I feel like a wet dewy look. I'm gonna use this. I feel like I'll mix them up today though. I don't know when I don't have my wig, <laughs> like all my friends I have to do. Usually when I have my wig, it's just there. But now I have to go all the way up there because I don't have any wig on today. <laughs> Look at that. I was using a, I've been using a turmeric oil because my, my body wash it's for scars on the skin, so it is lighting a little. So now my face gets lighter, and also it's winter, so my face gets lighter. But now, under my I wear glasses. If you didn't know, I wear glasses, so like under my eyes is dark. Like you can see it, I look like a raccoon. And I started using. I don't have it with me right now, but I started using a turmeric oil. And it really helped. Like, you can barely see I have dark spots now under my eyes. I don't have no dark bags under my eyes. I had it with me now, but I don't. I can leave the link in the description, though, for you guys. Okay, so that's basically it. And then I'm going to take my makeup sponge and wet her with some water. I'm going to wet her. I'm taking my foundation, my Fit Me foundation. And this is for full coverage. Huh? And I'm going in huh? all over the place. If I really take in my time, I will use this. But if I'm in a hurry, I use my blush brush and I just get it over with. And I'm here with you guys, so I'm gonna take it. Remember, I told you I don't use 
I don't use makeup wipes. I use my concealer. That's what I mean. So you see where all that green was? Just use your concealer. Make sure you get under your eyes. There we go. Look at that. It looks like your skin is flawless. That fit me. And like when I mix them together, it really gives you a full coverage look. It fit me. And the color foundation stick, they work really well together. Same. They work very, very well together. I like to do under here, under my chin. I have a double chin. <laughs> so I like to do under my chin. Okay. So, now we're going to highlight. Remember I said I use this wet and wild in the shade Pecan. highlight and we're just gonna go under our eyes our lower eyes I want to come down here too middle like the bridge of our nose the bridge of your nose on your forehead, my big forehead, <laughs> and top your lip and your chin area. Boom. I'm going to go again with my, my, um, I forget the name of it. <laughs> and my blending tool. <laughs> well, and we're just going to beat it up. I like to. It makes my face like look, look at that. Really highlights me. Yeah? It really highlights me. Your nose. My five head. <laughs> Dominica, we say your five head. <laughs> and if you're joking. Oh, I'm gonna Look at how flawless that looks, guys. Wow. Wow. 
Okay, so we are going to contour now. I, I'm going to use, well, the remaining of my neck. I love this. I love this. They got me, I know for sure they got me this for my birthday. They got me this for my birthday and I freaking love it. Like, you can see I love it. I hate in pan. So I had to get me uh, another contour stick. And I'm not going to use my contour stick. I'm going to use the remaining that I have from this. Yeah, I got this as my contour stick. It's a little heavy for me. It's a little dark for me. But it gets the job done. But I'm going to use the remaining of this shade. My NYX Professional Makeup Conceal Correct Contour. I need to get me another one of these. These are not really my shade. But this is what I used to contour with before. And let me tell you, honey. You can touch me. You can touch me. So I'm going to dip my blending tool in it. And I'm going to place it in the areas where I need to contour. I might have to add some of my contour stick. Because it's not really... There, you know, but I'm not really. As I hit, as I'm hitting pan, it's really hard to pick it up. I'm gonna add a little bit of the but the contrast stick is very heavy, so I don't want to add a lot. Still gonna go in with it because it's just right there. Yeah? It's just right, and you want to blend. But that's flawless. Take your time and just blend it correctly. Take your time. I like to look to my chin. It does make me look kind of like my face sharper. Not really fat, <laughs> but my face fat, yeah. It's good fat. Look at that. That's so easy to look. Great. There you go, guys. Look at, look at that. I want to add, uh, I want to snatch my nose. I like to contour my face. I love contouring my face, especially my nose.
Yes, snatch my nose real good. Sit up. Sit up. Sit up. Period. Period. Period, guys. And then you just kind of blend that in. Blend it. Period. I want to add a little, a little more of the um, highlighting to the nose. So you can see the snatch. You understand me? Just a little more. And just blend it. But yeah. So now we contour everything. We're going to set our contour. We're gonna set it up in my Sasha. Buttercup. It's not really buttercup, but it's the same brand. It's the Sasha Matte Face Powder to set it up. Look at Sasha Matte Face Powder. I'm going to use it to set my contour. It's really brown. So I just use it to set my powder. My contour. Sorry. I'm going to put it in the areas where I contoured. Put it all there. I contour. Just in the areas where I contour. To contour my hat, to set my highlight, I'm going to be using a different face powder. And we're just gonna like to press it in before I brush it. Brush it away. So I'm pressing it in before I brush it away. And to me, it just makes me look like a, a brownie. <laughs> you know? Okay, so to set my highlighted areas, I'm going to be using this. It's the Last Dim Fix by Maybelline New York. This is it. It's a yellowish, whitish undertone. Not really my color, but, you know. And this is what I use to set it up. Uh, I'm using my bottom of my thing to put it. This. I need to put a little bit here as well. Just a little bit.
Because it's looking mighty white. The face is going to look a little white. Okay. And you just want to let that set for a little bit. Okay. So now I'm going to attack my lips. Um, I need to figure out what lips gloss or lipstick I want to wear. with this look. I'm using my face wipes. I'm gonna clean up my lip area. It's brand new, brown new. It's hot. <laughs> I clean up my lip area. Also my lips gloss and my lip stick and whatever I'm using kinda set real good. I'll pink my lips off. Okay, I need a dark brown pencil. I think I'm gonna go with a brown, brown lip. I thought I was gonna go the last makeup video I did. I really thought I was going with a brown lip. It turns out it was a A red. I just test in, huh? I just test in. Feel like I can't remember which pencil I used. I think that's too red. I think that's too red. What's a brown? I don't know if I have them. I think I want to do a white on the eye. The last makeup video I did, I use, y'all see me use like makeup base to line my eyes. And I forgot I actually had a pencil. <laughs> so I bought this NYX. And I'm gonna use it to line under my eye. I'm gonna do that now. And I'll think about the lips. I'm still thinking it, what I can use. I love the look, the white waterline on the black mascara. I love, uh, when I tell you I love it, I love how it look. And when I did my low light video with that look, I really loved it. It was pretty. I'm gonna do the mascara after I brush my powder off because the powder does, I noticed that the powder makes it lighter. So I'm gonna do the mascara afterwards. Look, how pretty that looks. That looks so good. 
go. I love the way it looks. I need to see um, what I really need a dark brown pencil. I have so many pencils in that makeup box, guys. I have so many pencils in that damn makeup box, and I'm trying to find not one I want. Was this the one that I used? Not one that I want. If I could show you guys, I think at the end of the live, I'm going to show you guys the makeup box. It's so big. Is big. I I got one as close as to brown as I could find. I think I might have to mix it. If it doesn't show brown on camera, I might have to mix it. But it's very simple what I do for my lips. I just I line it first and then I go, you see the ends of my lips there and there and I just color it and then I put my lips stain in the middle here and in the middle here. It's still coming off a little red to me. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's coming out a little red on camera for me. So I might have to mix it with another color. I'm going for like a brown lip. On my lip pencils, I have a bunch of them, guys. A real bunch. I have more. Bunch of them. I also got from Amazon. Like, those live on Amazon. Amazon is really good. So, I think I used that color. I think I used that before. I'm going to use this. This is a neuron lip stain that I bought from, again, from Amazon. It kind of looks like the thing I put here, but it's not. It's actually lip stain. And I'm going to use this one. It's the nude one, I believe. Yeah, that looks. It's raining, right, guys? The other day it was snowing. It's raining now. Here we go. I'm gonna add some lip gloss to that. I usually use a heavy lip gloss because I want that chicken grease look. And I don't put it so heavy today. And now I'm going to grab my blush brush. And I'm going to go in and wipe away all of that powder everywhere. I set my foundation so I still have to brush it out. I'm 
And if I find it looks a little too white for me, looking a little too white, I go in again with my Sasha Buttercup and I take this and I do it very lightly. And I just go in everywhere. Very, very lightly, yeah? Because you don't want to mess up any hard work you do. All that hard work, you don't want to mess it up. Very lightly. You can see my contour on this side, it looks so good. Here we go. I wonder if it's so white. Because that lasting fix is not really my color. I've been saying, you know, I have to get like a step down from my color on Amazon, but I, I lazy. So I wouldn't say I lazy. I've been busy working and I finish work. Sometimes five, well, now that in this Christmas season, I've been finishing at five o'clock, but on a regular, regular day, it would be like the clock after six. Um, it, it wouldn't be, it would be late, so. Now I'm gonna use some mascara, but I can't find it. I can't find the mascara, guys. I want to use some. I'm going to have to borrow some. Okay, I got some mascara from my cousin, <laughs> and I don't know where she bought. I can find mine, so I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. I think I want to add. Some bottom lashes, maybe one or two to this look. But look at that, look at how polished that looks. The white on the black, that's my new thing. Like, I really like it. It looks so polished and so amazing. But I, I think I want to add like some bottom lashes to this. This look, get that baby doll look. So I'm gonna use some shorter lashes to accomplish this. And I, believe it or not, I have a box and I have a bag full of um, wig caps and eyelashes. So I'm going to take this one and cut it. Ugh, everything falling down. Ugh. I'm going to cut it. And I'm going to use it as a bottom match. This is just a Christmas, something you can use for Christmas. I, like I tell all you, I don't have red. I wish I had a red, you know, a red palette. I don't have red. Okay, so we have our latch. We're going to cut it into little pieces. I'm 
That's the one. I'm gonna do a two. Or three. We're gonna use it for our bottom lashes. I don't have singles. I stop wearing singles. I stop putting singles because this singles for me doesn't give this dramatic effect. Like you see how this strip is giving me life. <laughs> this strip is giving me so much life. In my opinion, for me to accomplish that, I have to put how many singles on my eyes, and uh, I don't mind. But to me, singles is for like every day. You know, you need a little vary. That we would say in Dominica, you need a little, you need to look a little nice. You know, for for the week, you don't want your lashes to look thin for the week, so. Put your singles, but this strip, this strip is easier for me and less time consuming. I would sit down in the mirror, yeah. I remember that like Dominica did. I would really sit down in the mirror, and if I don't go by Naomi to put my lashes on for me, I have to sit down and do it myself. another one it's really easy to do yeah and not as hard you can also accomplish the bottom lash with singles as well Come for me because I use in my hands, guys. Please don't come for me because I'm using my hands. I, mean, I find with my hands I work a lot quicker than with the tweezers. If I'm doing it for somebody, then fine. I will use my oh shoot, this one is messed up. If I'm doing it for somebody, I will use my tweezers. But as I doing my own thing, I really care. Is that me? It'll take a minute to dry, yeah? It takes a little while to dry. Yeah. I'm going to put the two on this side. I'm just dipping into my refill with my brush. Tip of my brush, like before. And that is the thing about live. You can't really edit, no? Nah? I have to show the real, so I don't really want to stick for me. Usually in a video, if I was doing a video, I edit a lot and I I put it when it stick. I put the video when it stick. And not when it gave me all that hassle. 
<laughs> but it does give you a, a hostel. Do I want to do the two or one? One looking kind of enough for me. So I think I'll pick up this one. Yeah, because one kind of looking good for me. Yeah, the, the one kind of looking good for me. So I'll be okay with the one. But yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is the look. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not done yet. I'm going to spray my face with my e.l.f. makeup mix set. So... Boom. And then, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to apply my brows, my bronzer. My bronzer, I'm going to apply it. And I'm also going to apply some highlights. So this is the bronzer that I use. It's, uh, it's from e.l.f. I don't really use bronzer like that, guys. It's so hard to, in my opinion, it's hard to... Get it on stuff. I have to like use my nail tool. And I'm just gonna go in with it. Hmm. Gonna. I want to do my notes a little bit. I want to do my lip. For me, the bronze are not really as intense as the highlights. Some here, some here. The bronze is not as intense as the highlight. I still like to go in with a, just a little highlight, and I'm going in with my Juvia's highlight. I wish I could do blue lights on this, but I can't. I think I might have to just turn off my lights to give you guys the low lights. But mm, look at that. I don't know if I want to do blush. Because I did bronzer. I'm giving all your face. I'm giving all your face. I'm giving you a big letter. I learned that um that white on black thing, the white eyeliner on the black mascara. I learned that through Bit by Deb, and I really love. I really love how it's looking on me. Yeah? Like, mm, it wasn't ready. I think I'm gonna add just a smidge of blush. So I am going to be using my Juvia's, I can find it, my Juvia's palette, their blush palette, the Sahara palette. This is it. Let's see. 
I want to use this one, this one right there. I'm going to take my brush brush, like a little brush brush, just a little one. I'm going to dip it in. I'm not a blush girl, yeah? I'm not really a blush girl. But it's Christmas. I don't want to make it so heavy. A little bit. Goes a long way. I barely see it. And this is also the shimmery one. The one I'm using is the shimmery one, so. A little brush. Okay, so now that I'm finished, I am finished now. I'm gonna go back and spray again. And let it dry. And I'm gonna turn off my light so I can give all you. Low light. Not really showing. Let me put on my that's the only thing with um live. You cannot edit how you want to. Like, oh, I would edit this just to look so bomb. But I will um put some pictures up on my Instagram and my Facebook. So you, and I will leave the link in the description box below on how the low lights look at my photo video. With better low lighting. All I have is my ring light. But yeah, this is how it turned out. And you can use this as a Christmas look. Get hot for them for that Christmas, you know? Mm. It was really nice doing my first live with you guys. I really enjoyed it. I will try another. Well, I have to put together another ensemble and see, you know, when I can come on live again. But it was really fun. Um, you, I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas holiday. Your Christmas Eve is going good. And I hope you guys get plenty gifts. <laughs> it was fun, y'all. Have a great day. Bye. Merry Christmas.